All right, in this video, let's see if I can help you fix your dryer. There's a couple things you can check that are really easy and the repairs aren't that difficult, actually. There's a couple common problems. Now, the dryers have some safeties built in. Like one, you have to have the door closed or it won't turn on. So first thing we can check is right here. With the door open, take a look at the frame and somewhere along the edge, you will see something like this. Now, this is a switch that tells the dryer that the door is closed. When I push it, I hear a nice clicking noise. If you push yours and you don't hear anything like that, it's almost a guarantee that that switch is bad. So you'll have to replace the switch. All right, the next tests are gonna require a multimeter. Now you can get a really nice one like this. We can get a cheap $10 one at Walmart, but make sure that it's unplugged. So I unplug the dryer. We're gonna test this start switch. Maybe this is bad, so. If you come around the back, you can undo. There's just a few screws around here. This panel comes off. Here's the back of the start switch. And to remove these connectors if you need to, it can be a little difficult because there's a little locking part of the tab. So I'm gonna take a probe from the meter, push it in that hole, and you might have to do it from the other side. It'll release the tab and I can pull that out just like that. So here's my meter, it's set to continuity right there. When these two leads touch each other, it makes a beep noise. So if I touch this part to this part, hold them both on there, and then I push the start button, I hear a beep noise. That means it's completing the circuit. So the problem isn't the start button. So we got the back panel off. Here's where the hot air comes out and leaves. There's a thermal fuse right here. It's this white rectangular thing. So we'll take these leads off and we still have it on continuity. And if it's good, we should hear this noise. So I'll put one here, one here, and just as I thought, it's blown. So let's take this off. And that's all it is. Some might be a little bit different shape, but this is a very common piece. You'll see these sold all over the place. And I would recommend getting these online, maybe getting more than one because they're so inexpensive and it's nice just to have maybe one extra on hand. So I went and bought a pack of six of them and it gives me enough to fix someone else's dryer if I need to. So it goes on like that, little screw, and connect the leads. And that is it, this is fixed. All right, so we checked those three things, the door switch, start switch, and thermal fuse. Chances are that's your problem if it's not turning on. So hopefully you can get that fixed and get your dryer going. So if yours is this style, there's two screws up under the lint catcher, so remove those. Pull this out as well. And there are two plastic clips coming up into the top of this lid. Once we push those in, I can lift up the corners. Let me show you. We're gonna use a putty knife or paint scraper or any kind of flat blade. Now you're gonna wanna go on the top side. Don't scrape the bottom because you'll just hit the bottom of the clip. So we're gonna go up, point this up high push in and lift up. This one is a little difficult. I don't know why. Oh, look at that. There we go. Let's see how hard the next one's gonna be. Look at that, that one was really easy. Right off. I'm going to undo this screw right here. And on the other side, the screw down in here. We need to undo all these wires because it comes up through it. So if you need to take pictures of the connections. My camera battery died, so let's just jump to the iPhone. 
Um, if you're having a hard time taking this off, make sure you took those two screws all the way out far enough and then you can slide this and it just comes off. It's got these metal clips on the back. This one, let's guide it through this metal clip here. Handheld, I'm sorry. There we go. One-handed. Quick bonus tip for you. There is such thing as appliance epoxy. This is a really hard enamel spray paint just for this. And it's gonna make this dryer look so much better because that spot right there just makes the dryer look like garbage. So a bit of sanding, some spray paint, pop it back on, it'll look like new. And that's gonna do it for this video. Take care guys and I will see you next time.